the crew worldwide From Kali to Twitter Real hardcore fans Boxing ass niggas Consistency cops Police the views We'll pull up receipts for any debates you choose Shout outs to Clan Arky for the dope production Ring gang stay with the best discussions yes. Ring gang Good Joe, welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where as always, the shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpio, the New England representative, and as always, I got my man with me, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do? It's your man, Shutterworth the God, LB, lot of Del Boss, GOAT artist, Soul Wars creator, you know what I mean? Ring gang in the house. Yeah, ring gang, yes sir. So yeah, we're gonna decide to because we both um, last weekend we went to go see, you know, the newest uh, Rambo installment, Rambo: Last Blood. Now, you know, obviously, if you're a fan of rated R flicks, you know, Rambo is where it's at. I mean, well, <laughs> well, the first, I mean, the first, I mean, the, the Rambo's that over the years have gotten increasingly raw. You know, the, I mean, the first one is probably the one that's like the acting favorite. You know. The one right. that you know, you know, that is like the you know the soft you know the soft boys and you know and the wimps you know they're like oh yes there's an artistic statement behind that one the two yeah. and three two and three were from that it was just pretty much slow flipping out and killing yeah, because a, a lot of people like to say part one was the the, the true classic yeah just, just like just like his Rockies the first one is the true classic you know all yeah, that. But if you know you a fan you know you know you fucks with all of them. Exactly, you know. I think Rambo Three was the one where that kill count was just unbelievably ridiculous and high, which is you know, which is always good, you know. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you can never run out of people to kill, and Stallone, you know, he filmed the void in that movie. And then after that, you know, the, the, after that, you know, there was, you know, he went about for almost twenty years without playing a character, and then, you know, he returned to form in two thousand eight, you know, with Rambo Four. Which I mean, I was expecting. I was honestly, I wasn't expecting anything from that. I was just like, yeah, you know, yeah, Rambo yeah. Four, all that. But then you I heard mean, we saw a couple of trailers and was like, hmm, okay, you know, they might be on this something, but you know, you ain't had no expectations. Like, you, you right? Yeah, yeah. Let me go because it was. I saw the regular trailers and I was like, hmm, but it was the red band, you know, where you know, was blown his famous scene where he gets to fifty count and starts mowing down niggas. That was like, okay, <laughs> this is. This is this is where it's at, and then of course the movie was spectacular, man. You know, I, of course I have a story related to Rambo Four, but I won't go into that. But it made up for a, a horrible day, and a horrible date, I should say that. And uh, yeah, I was, Rambo Four was where it was at. I mean, the I mean, kids was getting murdered. You know, there was a whole lot of deviant behavior in that in that in that movie. I wouldn't say I'm not gonna say it's wonderful, but I'm just saying the violence was un- unbelievable. So here we are now. You know, about ten or. 11 years, I can't, I can't even do math. We have Rambo Last Blood. You know, the commercial showed, you know, a clearly now aged the rest of Stallone, although still in shape, though. I mean, for a guy who's like 72, 73 years old. Yeah, you know, and he was looking aged and washed up in the last one. Yeah, exactly. And I remember in the last one, you know, because uh, he was on that HGH and he got busted for carrying that shit. And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, you see this nigga was running like full speed like he was Jesse Owens. Like, you know, yeah, you know, you said you setting up booby traps in the jungle and shit, and <laughs> like, it's like, like, dude was mad brolic running in the forest like he was doing. I'm like, yeah, of course he was. Of course he was on HGH. <laughs> he was, oh, he he was, was on a mission in that movie. Yeah, he was. Word. You know, so I mean, Ram, Rambo last part. I mean, you, know, you see him; he's aged now, and you know, and he's grizzled. I mean, he talks different. He talks slower. I don't know if that's just. How the movie was, you know, either he did that on purpose, or that's just age setting on Sylvester Stallone, man. Um, but uh, it was an interesting movie. It was shorter than most Rambo's. I mean, that's that, that's right. that's my first reaction. Like, it felt like, you know, it's like, wow. It felt like I watched a, a quick Netflix movie or something. Right? Yeah. That was like, it I, went by. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I was like, I, 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 I doubt it clocked like an hour and twenty minutes at. at but, you know, the most probably stuff. barely like an hour and maybe an hour, an hour and eighteen minutes. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, and, like, and was... then it felt like it, and, and and for a short movie, it felt like it took a little while for it to even 
kind of pick up and get where it was going. Like you knew where it was going, but yeah, he's, I mean, we didn't know how long it would take to get there. I mean, yeah. Pretty much, I mean, pretty much, I think because you know, because the brand before everyone was just waiting, like, where's the fucking violence? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think yeah, see the pacing was different than Rambo Four. Rambo Four, it's like it started off and you're like, oh shit, like yo, these niggas playing for keeps over here. Yeah, yeah you know, like, Rambo Five is on some. It's a different vibe. You, you know, you kind of get in there and you just, hmm, like you know, you had a party and you just the party's not live yet, but you just looking around and like, okay, you know, like something about to happen, like, okay, okay. Right, yeah, I mean, pretty much, I mean, pretty much like the tone reminded me of Logan, you know, in terms of like, you know, everything's just mad, grizzled and whatnot. And they, they both had, you know, because both movies had Western themes to it, in a way. Oh, yeah, out there in Arizona, shit. Yeah, no, no, the vibe no. I got from the movie was a, a more depressing version of the damn uh, Taken. Too, right, like yeah. like if Rambo was in Taken, like this is Rambo's version of Taken. Exactly, and like you know, I mean, he was out there. I mean, he, I mean, dude was flipping out, you know, ran like randomly in the beginning and stuff like that. I mean, I think one thing they really had him really, uh, I think, emphasize was the fact that the the Viet the Vietnam stuff, PTSD stuff, really got a hold of him. Like, I mean, yeah. That, yeah, I mean, I, I think even more than in the other movies, in the other real movies, like you could like all crap. That's like you know he's doing a whole bunch of strange things, you know. And uh, I don't really want to spoil what he was doing, but you can tell that he's just you know that yeah, just uh, keep him busy, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know what? Let me just chill out here. You know, I'm out here, not necessarily in the desert, but you know, out in some fields and shit. You know. The, yeah. the cine- cinematography was nice for the movie. Yeah, it was, you know. And that's you know, cause especially, it felt like it had, if the movie felt low budget, but not really. Yeah. Like, the presentation was so good, you didn't really notice it was, like, low budget because the camera angle, the cine- cinematography was on point. So, you know, it, it, gets, it, it gets points for that shit. Yeah, no, I mean... It- yeah, yeah, like, but like you said before, I mean, it did feel like a Netflix movie in a way. I mean, even though, like I said, you know, similar, similar, I can't even pronounce the word. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it was just I mean, everything just looked great and everything. Um, but yeah, like the plot itself, I mean, it took a while. I mean, it was simple. I mean, it was as simple as anything. I mean, hey, you know, he's, you know, he's adjusting to his life on a ranch or whatever with his, you know, his old friend and the granddaughter, you know, and then things start happening, you know, he's trying to be like this father figure and then all of a sudden, you know, let's just say curiosity killed the cat in a way. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> yeah, curiosity killed the cat, you know, you know, during the build up of the plot and you know, it, it was quite, it, it was kind of predictable. I mean, I was, I, honestly, I was expecting a little bit more nuance in terms of how the plot played out, but uh, I'm not complaining, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because they, they kind of got you there. Like, I guess with, you know, it almost felt like they was trying to do some like serious acting type of shit, like really yeah. get your get your heart into the movie, and they do a little bit with certain shit, like. Like, you know, that's why I said it has that the whole depressing feel. Like, right? Yeah, and you're then like, has, God damn, like y'all niggas doing all this, right? And then, that, of course, like I said, the taking feel, like you mentioned before. I mean, it was definitely there. You know, I mean, he was definitely watching some Liam Neeson movies before that. You know, channeling all the cold ass shit. Cause, I mean, the dialogue itself was very um, simple. Like there was like there was I mean there was nothing fancy about it. I mean but it, you don't really look you don't really watch Rambo for the um, you know for the stuff that he's talking about <laughs> you yeah know? nobody should be expect some Oscar worthy dramatic monologue you know in a Rambo flick yeah I mean you no know, you here for some blood guts some action some some, some yeah. badassery yeah and you know it took uh, like I said I mean it was a slow build like the action picked up. You know, once the plot got firmly established, the action picked up, and you know, lot of- was giving you little doses of it too, like yeah. It, but it was violent doses. You're like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, very violent doses. Like, 
You know, it, it was clear that, you know, I think Stallone was probably influenced by watching them raid movies or something like that. You know, where yeah. everything where everything other than yourself can be a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he uh, he was hand, uh, uh, he was t- he, he was handling some niggas like in the in the build up of the plot, and then Word. the climax though, like the climax, like the, the parts that everyone wanted to see, probably came within the last twenty something minutes of the movie, give or take. Right. And when that and when that happens, ho oh, did it happen? Like, when, when they let the gates open, when they yeah. when they let the flute sing. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, man. They yeah. let him move, man. My goodness. Yeah, there was this. I mean, there was like, and this is where I know Prince were like grimacing because the violence is really violent. Like, there's uh, there's not even mentioning words to it. I mean, the only difference is it's just not as persistent as it was in Rambo Four, but it's just. I mean, it, it, it's almost like. Yeah, I think the the violence factor, like for the last. You know, twenty five minutes of the movie, I think is on par with Rambo Four. Like maybe yeah. even a little more in your face. I it's mean, just Rambo Four had a different setup. I mean, and it felt like a real movies movie. Yeah, like it's a violent nightmare. Like you know, Rambo, you know, lost control of himself and goes, yeah. you know, and you know, pretty much, you know, niggas on niggas a jigsaw Rambo. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that's the best way to put it, man. That's what, like, <laughs> it's a jigsaw ramp. <laughs> like, nigga, like, I mean, like, he was, I mean, he spent mad time doing what he set up to do what he did, man. And it's just like, you know, like, faces getting sliced, you know, limbs being lost, mad people getting. Yo, you know, he put in work with that knife. Yeah, the knife, the guns, like, boom. <laughs> Yeah. That knife, like honestly, like I'd rather see Michael Myers in the dark alley than damn Rambo, <laughs> right? Like shit, maybe we could talk it out with Michael Myers, but Rambo, yeah. Rambo, come for you with that knife, man. Yeah, you know it, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You know, it's like he, he he put in some serious. Like, I was like, that's the one thing I like about slow movies, action movies. Like he, it's the details with the violence. Like some people just like this quick cuts. Like you can't really see shit or whatever. Or he know. he makes sure you see it, and it's like so quick. It's it's like a it's a slow down quickness, but it's brutal. But it's it, flashed it, right in your face. Like like the act. Like honestly, like Stallone knows how to shoot action. Yes. Yes. Like you were seeing that in the Expendables, because. But look at the Expendables and make Expendables rated R. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Like one and two were rated R, and three was not. Yeah, you, and you saw the difference. And and oh, even yeah. the, the Expendables never got as hardcore as the Rambo films. But man, this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they kind of knew. Like you know, what, we're just gonna bullshit our way through the movie, but when it's gonna get to our favorite part, and you'll know when. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's torture porn at its finest. Torture porn mixed in with PTSD and some other and some other things that uh, the Rambo character experiences in this movie. It's you know, it's just one brutal, bloodthirsty finale. <laughs> it, it hits you hard because like the whole theme of the movie, like we said, it's depressing. It's fucked up. You know, yeah. you don't want to see people go through that shit. So. I felt like even though the movie was short and there wasn't a lot of dialogue, like all the characters for so, for some reason were memorable. Yeah. Like 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 a lot of characters in the movie, like everybody like I, they're memorable as fuck. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, you, you know, so it was good job on the casting. I, I'll say that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, you know, you know, Stallone is very old school. Like, you know, it's always, I mean, he's very old school in terms of who's the antagonist. Like in Rambo Four, it was the Vietnamese or the Rebels or whatever. Not the Rebels. Uh, I forgot what he called them in there. And in this one, it's the cartel. <laughs> yeah, and you know, the cartel's been like everybody's kind of, you know, their favorite villain, mo- like movie villain for a while. Yeah. You know, you remember at one time it was like, you know, Hollywood was going through their phase where they was having like the villains were like the African soldiers and shit. 
Yeah, man. The uh, like the tears from the sun, like mm-hmm. blood diamond. You you remember those? A whole stretch of movies where like, yeah, I mean, like, violent yeah. Africans were like the <laughs> the bad yeah. guys. Now it's like we're getting, you know, the, the violent Mexican cartels. <laughs> <laughs> right, you know. And, so it's a, it's a good little transition. It, it works. You know, it definitely works because the the cartel, like the bad guys, they're like ruthless in this shit. Yeah, they are. You hate yeah. them as soon as you see them. Exactly, and then and, I, and that was actually a talking point for one of the critics. Like the ones was like, you know, this is 2019. Why do Hispanic people have to be the antagonist? You know, just like this. Is, have you not watched a storm? When has a storm movie ever been fully PC? <laughs> That's what. And the thing is, what's wrong with them being the antagonist? They was the antagonist in like so many different movies. Exactly. It's like, 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 come on! Like, what the what the fuck's the deal? Like, like, who, I mean, how many? Who, who do people want Stallone to go after? Like, I mean, part one was like, like, what Americans? Or, yeah, Americans, yeah. You know, part two, I think it was in Vietnam. Yeah, part. And my part three, two was like one of my favorite. Like, I, I fucks with part two. And I think in Rambo three was the Russians. I believe the Russians. I think Afghanistan. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah. So and, and and you notice it reflects each time like the era we in, exactly. So it so it works and then being yeah I'm sorry then uh, Rambo four, he took it back to Asia. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean and then Rambo five he's like you know what fuck it you know we gonna hit these cartels. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're going straight to Mexico, you know, which, you know, and obviously he's not stupid because obviously, you know, if you do, if you do anything where you're killing Mexicans in Mexico, you know, it might appeal to a certain segment of people that may think like, fuck yeah, America. Yeah, you know, that type, you know, that type of crap. And people need to take, like, look, you go in and just watch the movie, enjoy the movie. Right, I mean, you all the C, the C span, CNN, all the politics, MSNBC, NC, all the, all whatever the fuck. Right, read that shit somewhere else. Like, we all know, like, well, for 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 whatever villains is out there and shit. You know, we we know this shit go down. Yeah, niggas is acting like there's no cartels, no no Mexican gangs running shit now. Like, come on. Mhm. Yeah, you know, this is like you know. People are yeah. imitate life. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, people don't want that. People, you know, people are like, oh, well, Rambo is falling so far from Rambo 1. I mean, Rambo 1 is unique as well. I mean, Rambo 1 explored the treatment of former vets. It had a specific purpose, you know? Yeah. And, you can't and, keep running that, that same theme, you know? <laughs> you can't, because, I mean, and, and then, like I said, I mean, it wasn't like shit was settled, I mean, after yeah, in Rambo 1. So, I mean, you had to. You know, you, you have to you know, let him work out his issues, and he worked out his issues with high body counts. Niggas <laughs> want um, like, want Rambo to just talk it out and shit. Like, you don't and work anyway, like that. You don't want him to have the same theme for his movies from part one. You don't. I mean, even Rocky, even Rocky had to change it up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you wanted him to keep fighting Apollo Creed, like. <laughs> Yeah, you know, exactly like a racket. I mean, you know, all those type of fights I have, I mean, it all ends up with one thing, brain damage, which is what, you know, what's what, I mean, you, know, you can't just have all them damn fights from wild ass brawls and think that you're not going to get damaged. Yeah, you have, you, eventually you have to evolve your character in a certain direction. And, and that's damage. why Rocky Five worked. Exactly. I know a lot of people shit on Rocky Five, but nah, I fucked with Rocky Five because it, it told another part of the game, man. Yeah, exactly, and and it's part of the game that knowing that no, it, that it, it doesn't get really explored much when you talk about boxing movies, you know. Exactly. So I felt like it was needed, but you yeah. know, it, it is what it is. Just like I feel like this Rambo Five, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't better than Part Four. But yeah, God no. damn it, it was needed. Like, yeah, it was. So you needed it, a, a, a badass, just straight brutal. No, I mean I haven't seen John Wick Three yet, but I fucked with all the other John Wicks. But is like even those those movies are violent and, and go hard as fuck. It's a more of a stylized like film New York. Like I mean, like it's a different. It's like it's like your high class violence. Yeah, exactly. Rambo just give you that straight. Like like Rambo is like that uncle like that's putting you on and he's like, look nigga, here's this dirty ass burner. 
<laughs> you gotta put in some work, my nigga. You just know you blood, but you know, and all, but you know, I fucks with your pops. You know, that's my nigga, but you 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 gotta you gotta put in work with this tool right now. <laughs> like like that's how Rambo do it. Right. You know, John Wick is like, hey, um, I asked your father if uh, you want to go shooting lessons on the weekend. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we could set that up and, you know, um, we could do that, you know, every, you know, twice a, you know, twice a month. You know, how would you like that? Like, yeah, yeah, sure. That, that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, it's cool because, you know, your uncle got, you know, mad, mad different guns and shit in there, you know, you know, the shooting lessons, but. You know, it's, it's set up a, it's violence, you shooting a gun, but it's, it's set up a different way. <laughs> when Rambo is on some like, look, nigga, here. You gotta yeah, make I mean, this work. Yeah, I mean, it's cheaper. But, but, but than... it's, it's too many of them. Nah, nigga. I mean, let's put it this way. I mean, it's cheaper than Rambo talking to psychiatrists. Real talk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they would probably say this movie is like a pure toxic masculinity or whatever the fuck these, these wimps want to say. But you yeah. need it, man. You need just brutal, raw, hardcore violence like yeah. this sometimes. Like yeah. a movie like this was like a dime a dozen back in the day. Yeah, exactly. You know. It's now like, it's like you really gotta look for that shit. You gotta anticipate and wait. Yeah, it's like I mean, I mean, because before I mean, it used to be like politically incorrect action movies. Like I mean, even fucking Steven Seagal. Like Steven Seagal can't act worth a damn. But goddamn, the Aikido he was doing in the movies was spectacular. Cause I mean, it was show, it, it was it was real. Like it, it was, like it showed you know showed you what would happen if you you know put somebody's uh, arm and wrist in a certain direction. You know, yeah, on them under siege joints. Yeah, and of course, Mark for death. <laughs> yeah, Mark for death. You know, yeah, all all the classics, man. Like I mean, John yeah, man, but you, you don't get those type of films now. It's like everybody wants to talk it out on some bullshit or. It's just highly stylized violence. Yeah. yeah. You know, quick. So do give you that, that raw impact. Like, if you see some of the kills in this movie. Yeah, it's just like, it, it, it seems like that, like that that man might just have like a demon on his shoulder, like when he was writing the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and the demon was telling him, okay, here, this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take this weapon and it's going to saw off this particular body part. And, you know. Word, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yo. This man, it's like there was like there was overkills in this shit. Yeah, <laughs> overkills. Like niggas was getting killed, and then it was like, all right, fuck that. I gotta make sure you're dead three more times. <laughs> it was it was the reaction in your theater to some of the shit that like the people were seeing, bro. Huh? What was the what was the theater's reaction to some of the things that uh, people were seeing? Like, oh I mean, man, like people... real talk, I went in there, zooted up, and and. On a matinee, <laughs> and it's like maybe five or six other people was in there. Mm -hmm. But even then, like when it got to the end and they was going off with the hammers and shit, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. letting them off, like I could hear like, "Ooh, damn, ooh, ooh!" Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, "Damn!" And it's like, you know how loud this theater was, like as far as the sound, like it was mm -hmm. some type of RPX experience some some bullshit yeah. i mean i don't be in movies like that my nigga so yeah but it was like the surround sound like dude like i, I felt shell shocked walking out of the theater like <laughs> i was like rambo like god damn like why well, i keep thinking about the block cops and mm -hmm. sirens and gunshots and choppers letting off like ah like <laughs> like you know I, I thought a nigga was gonna start filming me like <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking out there, you know, leaning on the hallway, you know, the walls, like, yo, shit, like, damn. Like, yeah. I, I feel like I just made it out from the ending. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what, yeah, the reaction, because uh, originally before, I thought I was going to have an empty theater, because I remember I, I, on my Instagram, I posted a picture, I was like, I was only the, I was literally the only cat in that theater for a hot minute. And then slowly but surely, like I think maybe five minutes after I posted the video on my Instagram, like people started coming in there. I was just like, okay, you know, you send that and, invite. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know. But of course, I, I mean, I was all day in the corner. I was just, you know, I, was, I had my drink on or whatever. I paid for the expensive ass drinks at the theater and my hot dog, and just watching, you know, watching this violence commence. 
and then some other shit it was just like you could hear it and just like oh like there was a you no know, like audible reactions to some of the violence bro it was just like <laughs> and especially some of the last couple of kills it's just like yeah. you know graphic like you felt yeah. the pain yeah you and know, it's filmed it's filmed real good like mm-hmm. like it's filmed real good like i can't get over how well the kills are filmed exactly you know like That's some it. of the and some of the and some of these are just regular gun kills right i know I, I guess you know people you know for the international users i mean listeners out there they're probably looking at like you fucking americans and you goddamn guns <laughs> like jeez like he, he like yeah, there's a drinking game for kills or, or guns in this damn podcast <laughs> y'all you <can> do it <laughs> I, I know we letting it off with them shits um but yeah like honestly there was some points where it felt like there was like he had put in that uh grand theft auto cheat code Mm-hmm. Where you know you could do and you know the video game cats out there, y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. When yeah, y'all put exactly. in that cheat code on GTA for the exploding rounds or the high impact bullets or like the flame rounds, like them shits. Like that that's the effect he had on some of them kills. Like I was like, God damn, like thought I had the controller in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> like shit, like yeah, like so uh i know yeah, we yeah. get to that time where it's like we gotta we gotta give our ranking for it <laughs> yeah i mean I, I mean my summary like like i said i mean my only complaint is i, I wish it took more time to flesh it out a little bit more I, I wish it was longer you know i think i think that's what it was i mean because I, I like the rambles were all was a good length that's why i think needed just a little bit more a stronger story and fleshed mm-hmm. out yeah, needed needed like ten more kills. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. And speaking of that, it's definitely not for those children. So, yeah, we you know you need to come. Unless you, yo, unless you a real nigga. Exactly. You you know what I mean. Yeah, you I'm know. Just okay. Put it like that. If you and your if you and your kids about that life, you know, go ahead, take them, take take them to see that shit. They'll they'll fucks with it. They'll know what's good. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, I, you know, I, we're eighties babies, so. You know, we, yeah. That's what we, what, all we know, all we knew, were rated R movies. Shit, shit. Some yeah. Of the, yeah. You know, that's. I mean, yeah. Even the PG thirteen were pretty raw. You know. <laughs> the PG movies from the eighties mm. were like the PG thirteen movies in the nineties. <laughs> right. So like you know like shit. Even like yeah like Roger Rabbit of all things like you know fucking Disney shit like that. But that shit. Yeah. Was, yeah. That shit was See, raw. Rambo was so hard. Rambo had a motherfucking cartoon, my nigga. I remember yeah. that shit. Yeah, same thing with RoboCop 2. RoboCop, the first RoboCop 2, was some of the most violent shit I've ever seen in my life as a yes. kid. Yes. And, and it had the video game, and I watched this cartoon, man. Yeah, Ro- RoboCop kicked ass. So, yeah, yeah it's, it, it's in the vein of those type of movies, man. Yeah, and of course, the Rambo Arcade 2, you know, spent mad quarters at them shit, bro. The Rambo Arcade Yo, was dope. Oh, man. People understand, like, Ram- Rambo go hard. It's like, it's like, it's like a part of film history like real shit like y'all don't know like y'all gotta uh, look y'all gotta appreciate these type of films coming out right now like these round movies because the way this country moving the way this shit going on you're gonna you're only gonna see these films matter of fact you only see these type of films when if you're a big hong kong martial arts type of movie watcher if you watch those hong kong or korean action flicks you know Though they make these type of movies and they put a hell of a lot more into the story. Facts. <laughs> but yeah, you, you get them on the regular over there. Over here, it's like, you know, once again, you know, you know, it's that 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 cool ass uncle that come through. Like, look, man, you know, I got this uh, movie that you know they don't have out over here, but you know, I got it since you my favorite <laughs> nephew. Here you go. <laughs> and he's all exclusive and shit. You you know, feel like you put in work with that with, with, with the Blicky. You you know, you come out of Rambo film. Yeah. So yeah, so. Yeah. Oh like no, I, what you was about to say? My bad. I was like, feel like you come out around. Feel like I do some pushups. Like you gotta get ready for war. Like you gotta you know hang upside down and and change like you know <laughs> you know how to clean your gun and shit like that before your nose start to be some shit some wild shit like that. You know, just to get your mind right. 
Uh, yeah, I had to do like 20 push-ups after seeing Rambo. I was like, yeah, man, fuck that. I don't know who could be pulling up at the crib, man. Shit. I know, right? That's how I look. You'd be like, I wish a nigga would come in my crib unannounced. But... For real? <laughs> let, let me get like, a little little montage of me setting shit up. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me, let me get my, 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 my sharp ass steak knives and shit that I used to cut up shit, nigga. <laughs> Putting that work just like Rambo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, rankings, yeah. Like, yeah, me, rankings. I was going to say, like, uh, one through ten. Like, like I text my friend. I mean, like, well, I, I mean, I, like, I, like, my ranking, I would give this a strong six. And just for the mentions, uh, for some of I wish it was a little longer. The story was fleshed out more, you know, just a little bit more. Because I mean, so, I mean, the plot was, I mean, it, it got to the point, you know, whatever. But it had, it had more potential to actually be something a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? So, and uh, I mean, but the violence, though, like I said, and I wish the violence got to it. I mean, I'm just a violent. I guess I'm just a violent person at heart, you know. <laughs> this nigga. Yeah. I, I, was, I wanted the buzz to be, you know, I, I didn't want to like wait for like maybe forty minutes of like the slow building of the plot before the buzz. Oh, so you you, you wanted that shit like now, like yeah, you know, I, want, I want it now. <laughs> like, like I wanted an adrenaline shot in the like the first ten minutes of the movie, and then some build up, and then some random adrenaline, you know, inducing violence, and then afterwards the the finale, you know. Yeah. So yeah, the violence, it, it, it was good, like I said, it was protected, but it wasn't paced in the way like it was in like other Rambo movies. So that's why I gave it a six. It's very watchable, like I said, it's worth, I mean, I paid full price, I didn't pay, you know, I didn't do the matinee because I had to see it opening night. Um, you know, but yeah, it's a strong six. You? Wow, okay. Uh, Sam, my, my friend asked me, and I was like, damn. I was so hyped for the movie. I, I guess I, I said like an eight, like, cause I was like, I enjoyed that motherfucker that much. Mm. But really sitting down and critiquing it, I'll I'll dial it back to like, I feel you on the strong six. But if I enjoy something that much, it's gotta be above a six. So I'll go with a seven. Cause when I look at it, cause even with an eight, I, I already knew Rambo four was like a ten. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you know, I, I couldn't put this one over that. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Rambo, 4, Rambo Four is a, is a stone cold classic, and I have the extended cut on DVD. I see it right next to me in my in my uh, in my case. You know, it's just like, uh, yeah, it was just different. Yeah. And Rambo Five last one was not a ten or anything like nah, that. Nah, like honestly, I'll, I'll give it a seven. Yeah, like good score. Since I. Ain't, like I enjoyed it too fucking much to give it lower than a seven, mm-hmm. you know. And I feel like your score is really a six point five. <laughs> Could be. I mean, that's not. Yeah. Cool. You're gonna put a fucking strong six. <laughs> that's why I say it's a strong six. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely- yeah. So we're like, we not too far off. Um, cause I, I I enjoyed it. Um, it's one of those movies if it comes on TV. Or whatnot, and it's at a certain part. You'll watch the rest of the fucking movie. Hell yeah, like Ra- like Rambo. Yeah, Rambo Four stays just on like the rest of the fucking Rambo's. Just like Rocky Four, all the Rockies. Yeah. You know if you if you catch Rocky Four when it's about the time when they go to Russia for training, you know you're like right, fuck it. Yeah, you know I'm about to. I'm about to <sighs> let me, you let me watch the, the rest of this shit. Yeah, you, know, you watch the routines, you get inspired to get put in that work in the gym or whatever, and everything. Yeah. And you cheer, you cheer like you ain't watched the shit a million and a half times. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> and, and that's what you're gonna feel with this one. Um, I do like how they did the ending, though. I'm not even gonna say I have to say much about it, but when yeah. you watch the film and you watch the credits and everything, like I fucked with how they did that shit. Like it, it, it reminded me of Rocky Five in a bit, in a way. But yeah. yeah, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. But uh, but uh, yeah, as far as my ranking, mm-hmm. the hype had me an eight, but it's it's really a seven. It's definitely watchable, and it's one of those films you know you'll watch it again. Like if it's on TV or whatnot, chilling, you know you'll you'll watch it again. It's a good it's a good violent movie. Um, it has some it it done it did some real good shit. But you had a few minuses, like Pat said. Um, 
movie could have been a little longer. I could have had the action paced out a little better. Right. And that would have upped the score. But as far as how the action was presented and the, the killing and all of that shit, it, it did that shit extremely well for what it was trying to do. So that that's why I give it a seven. So that, that, if you a Rambo fan, you better watch this motherfucker. Exactly. I mean, it's full recommend full recommendation to watch. You know, like I said, I mean and don't listen and don't listen to or don't read reviews from like Riot Tomatoes or any of other liberal hippie ass media outlets yeah. that, that that you know that they, that you know they didn't grow up doing anything like they're supposed to like they didn't, they didn't play rough sports didn't play rough games or anything of that stuff like yeah. that you know don't don't listen I'm to going here looking for Shakespeare on ice or some shit yeah fucking should, Rambo I mean I'm don't sure think, Rambo on ice would be violent as fuck too yeah I mean the violence was Shakespearean though real to the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like the sound, like yeah, like I, I'm telling you, like y'all, y'all gotta fuck, you. y'all gotta watch this shit, like, uh, y- y'all just gotta watch. It's like I don't know what else to say. It's like people are probably damn, like this is like the best six and seven movie I've ever heard. <laughs> I know, right? He's like, damn, y'all niggas selling that shit like it's an epic, but it is in a way because it's, it's the last of a dying breed, man. Yes. It most Stallone does. getting up there in age. You, ain't, you think he gonna be still cranking out these films? Um, no, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure he would love to, but I mean, in reality, you know, we only have, we have probably have not even five years. <laughs> if that, I mean, if that, or probably even 10 years, you know. Yeah. yeah and then that. it's like, the sad thing is like, nobody younger is coming behind him doing the same thing. Right. Or if they are, they're not, it's not R-rated yet. Like, you have yeah. to rock. No, no, no. If it's not R-rated, then you're not doing the same thing at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, maybe you're a rock, you're Jason Statham, but that's, like, at the most, it's PG-13. You know, especially, mm-hmm. the role, although, although the rock has done a couple of rated R ones, he doesn't do a whole lot of them. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, uh... I think it's like, no one's paving the way, no one's giving you these type of level movies in America and in putting America, in theaters. Yeah. You know, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, Stallone, you know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, y'all appreciate this shit because, you know, once he goes, and he, yeah, it's going to be sad. But once yeah, he goes, yeah. you're not going to be seeing films like this on this side of the pond out in theater. Just like when Jackie Chan got old, you stopped really seeing martial art films on a big level, on a mainstream yeah, like, level in America, even with Jet Li. Like, shit had yeah, to I mean, die down. And come back up with a whole new generation with the raid. Yeah, exactly. You know, Jack, and it, although Jackie Chan, though, I mean, he did make his little comeback. You know, with the foreigner. I mean, the foreigner was probably one of his best movies. I've yeah, seen yeah, the years. foreigner went hard. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but like we hard. said, on, on a mainstream level, where right. you, you're getting these all the time. Like, yeah, no one, no one's really doing that. So you, you gotta appreciate that shit. Like, like Donnie Yen was holding in, was putting in work. You know, when Jackie Chan and Jet Li were on the decline. Right. Donnie Yen was just up there putting in work and then the raid got big and then Yip Man. So, you know, it's everybody doing their thing, man. So y'all just appreciate that shit. Exactly. Good films. Exactly. So yes, you know, final thoughts are re- you know, fully rec- your full recommendation to go watch and uh, enjoy yourself. It's not for the faint of heart and everything like that. So you go there, turn your brain off, and just be astounded by the level of gulliness and violence that you'll, you'll, you'll witness in about an hour and 20 minutes or so in the theater. A yeah. fucking man. <laughs> That's all we got to say, shit. Um, I, I know it's been a while since y'all just heard both of us. <laughs> oh, yeah, only no. both of us. <laughs> Exactly, you know, I'd say we do. I mean, that limited edition, like, hold on, hold on, we we ain't have a big bad Scorpio and and Goat Artist, you know, LB episode in in a minute, (laughs) right? You know, but I mean, the others haven't seen the movie yet either, so you know, it it was perfect, it worked out perfectly, and yeah, I mean, exactly, you know, so I mean. Like either way, I mean, I mean, everything we do is, you know, it's classic or whatever. And this was even just even more classic because I said because we're, action, you know, we're action movie junkies. Rated R Renaissance continues. You know what I mean? Yeah, it'll be a, like this film is a, a classic for the era. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like 
it's not going to be known as a Rambo classic or like an overall, you know, it'd be like a footnote in the series type of shit. Right. But they get, it's, a, it's a footnote that it's like a shotgun type of footnote. Like, it ain't no BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you know, you read the bottom of the book and half of it's blown off, man. Because, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they put it out, they went out with a bang in a little, in a, in a way. Like, you'll see, you'll see. Yeah, you'll see it. And like I said, you know, you'll see it and enjoy it. Yeah, damn. If you don't enjoy this movie, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Like, you know, just, you know, just go somewhere and, you know, you know, eat your tofu and your gluten free foods and shit like that. Yeah. Like, you know, Maybe we'll send Rambo to get your ass. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, you know this was just a, this was another episode of Real Talk, you know where it says, as always shit's real. We talk about it, and uh, yeah, for myself, past corporate the New England representative, for my man LB, show the worth to God. Yes, you know, like I said, you know, full recommendation to watch Rambo, and uh, yep, and just you know subscribe to us if you like this uh, podcast. Subscribe to us, like it, comment, you know. Give us five stars on our uh, platforms, whatever, man. Just all that shit. <laughs> all that shit, exactly. So, yep. I'm saying until next time. Peace. <laughs>